In this video, we will go through the steps of properly reading a vernier scale on a stereotaxic instrument in order to conduct in vivo electrophysiological experiments. In vivo electrophysiology is a technique used to study the electrical activity in living organisms, most commonly in the nervous system. In order to send signals to and record from living brain tissue, both stimulating and recording electrodes must be placed precisely in the desired brain pathways through carefully placed burr holes on the skull's surface. Together, a stereotaxic device used to position the animal's head during the experiment, along with vernier scales placed in three locations on each stereotaxic arm, allow for accurate three-dimensional measurements. These measurements are crucial for a successful electrode placement and ultimately for successful in vivo electrophysiological recordings. Before taking measurements, it is important to understand how the vernier scale works. The main scale is marked in millimeters and the vernier scale is marked in fractions of a millimeter, therefore allowing for measurements with greater accuracy than those that can be achieved with the main scale alone. To take a measurement using the vernier scale, First, look for the last whole millimeter division visible on the main scale before the vernier scale zero division. In this case, the last whole division on the main scale is 5.0 millimeters. Next, identify the division mark on the vernier scale that lines up best with a main scale division mark. In this case, the vernier scale division mark that lines up best with the main scale mark is at five. Lastly, to find the total measurement, combine the main scale value in the ones and tenths decimal place with the vernier scale value in the hundredths decimal place. Therefore, in this case, because the main scale value is equal to 5.0 and the vernier scale value is equal to 5, the total measurement for this reading will be 5.05 millimeters. In the case where both the zero and the 10 division on the vernier scale line up with a division on the main scale, the 10 is ignored and the vernier scale value is taken to be zero. Therefore, in this case, the total value would be equal to the main scale equal to 5.0, the vernier scale equal to zero, and the total scale value equal to 5.00 millimeters. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, Vernier scales are located in three different locations on the stereotaxic arms. The first, located vertically on the front of the stereotax, allows for dorsal ventral measurements. The second, located horizontally at the base and the side of the stereotax, allows for anterior posterior measurements. And the last, located horizontally across the top of the stereotax, allows for medial lateral measurements.